Well, here we are. Uh, Super Mega has finally done something that they said they were going to do. Not in a timely manner. Not in a timely manner, but the point still stands. We, we did it. We, we did, it. did it. What do we look? What? Which camera do I look at? Do well, we? Should I even pay attention to that? Don I, I, Flash me his his his. I don't know. What Don that just was. walked outside the door and flashed. Was that penis? was that his cock or one of his balls? It's hard to tell. They're all the same size. Yeah. Uh, but guys, welcome to this is amazing episode three hundred. Of the Super Mega Cast. That's right, episode Welcome 300. One wow, we have we have we have hit 300 Wait, episodes. God damn. Calls for a little celebration. Yeah, I think it does. Oh, uh, I, I I pulled out the Hennessy bottle for those listening on audio because now it is video. Right. If you're on Spotify right now and listening to this, guess what? You can go to YouTube right now and you can actually watch the our brand new set with the three camera setup. The podcast itself. It, the the podcast itself stays the same. I don't, I don't want to, you know, we got to oh. make sure we get the sound. Of course. I was letting you finish. No, well, the podcast stays the same, but now you can actually look at our beautiful Want a rock, faces. paper, scissors for who gets the first swig? <sighs> yeah. Oh. What? It didn't, there was no, no you got uh, to, no like, really kind of hold it and. See, there's no. What? Anymore. What? Yeah. That's nothing. Let me try. I, mean, I, don't, I don't think I'll be able to do it, but. See? I mean, you get the... It, it doesn't do the... It just like... I guess that just means we need some more Hennessy. We've, the friction has worn you, Yeah, that's what it is. There's been no liquid here for months because no one's had to sip out of the Hennessy. the cork. Absolutely. See? It's it's fully dry. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yeah. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Oh, rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. shoot. Every time we play rock, <laughs> paper, scissors, it takes us like seven yeah, times to finally do something different. Okay. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. <laughs> rock, paper, paper scissors, shoot. shoot. Hey, right. come on, first swing. It's all you, buddy. Okay. <sighs> oh, you already, thanks for already, yeah, yeah. I mean, do you want to, do you want to re, re, it's the celebratory uh, 300th episode of Hennessy. <laughs> Everyone thought that the Hennessy was a bit. <laughs> uh, not. Everyone's like, oh, they always talk about having the Hennessy bottle and making guests take a sip, and they thought it was just some, like, elaborate bit we do, but now you can actually see, we know it's, this is the, the Hennessy bottle, and it's at the level <laughs> it it's at now. has finished, and... That is guests have sips every time they come pure on. Pure gasoline. I'm not a big not fan even of close, cognac. Actually, there's, I'm sure there's alcohol out there that's just fucking brutal, dude. This is a uh, I I just you can feel I, it running through your body. I hate Hennessy's personally. Well, you speaking. gotta take a okay. You gotta take a, a celebratory. How big of a sip. swig did you take? Huh? How big of a swig did you take? Probably like if there was like two caps of of plastic Coke bottles. You know what I mean? Okay, that's a great way to put it. I wish that. You know, unfortunately, it doesn't have that type of lid, no, so I can't it measure it. has the it, nipple lid. Just go ahead and have a little Hennessy. <laughs> like, I have, like, <clears throat> a, a, a sympathy reaction whenever I watch you take a swig. <laughs> Makes me, like, experience it all over again. <laughs> I took a, oh, I took a pretty big one. Oh. Washing it down with sugar-free Red Bull is probably the... Oh, the flavor combination there is unbelievable. Would you like a stizzy? Would you like a hit of the stizzy? What's this? What's is that marijuana? Yeah, sure, man. I mean, we're, go <laughs> I, we're going crazy to now. Celebrate the three hundredth episode of the super. That's a big deal. That's a big effing right? deal. That's, that's somewhat. That's <laughs> somewhat of an achievement. I think even a hundred episodes was an achievement. Absolutely. It was. How many podcasts quit after like before the hunt the hundredth episode? I'd say a large majority of podcasts that are, are attempted don't make it to episode 100. That's Dizzy Hits, bro. Watch out. I wish we got waters in here. I could take a sip of water. I know. Water. That, I, I, mean, I mean, I could go get get us some water. Do you want a bottle of water? Do you already have? Uh -huh. I've got one right here. So I'm unprepared. I'm the unprepared one. No. Uh, oh, yeah. That, 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 uh, that Stizzy does. It do be hidden. Well, we've got uh, marijuana and Hennessy, and uh, we're ready to have a good, uh, a wonderful time on episode 300 of the Super Mega Cast. I think there's a part of me that's still, like, playing, you know, we're always going to be aware of the cameras, but there's a part of me that's like, oh, no. Oh, totally, yeah. Okay, what are we talking? I'm thinking of it as if it were a video, but I got to keep the mentality of no video to be, right. to remain comfortable. It, it Because what I love about, the podcast was we always just felt super comfortable and now cameras are on we just got to get over that little like you got to break through that period where it's like got to forget the cameras are there 
you know, and just fucking. We just talk like like uh like two best friends. That's right. Pound it. Knuck it. Knuck it, brother. What's been what's been good with you besides your uh, your back? Oh my god, dude. <clears throat> I'm doing the same thing right now. That Hennessy is. <clears throat> oh, tasting it for oh, a second that is time. Some good Hennessy, bro. That is delicious <laughs> cognac, dude. That Hennessy hits. Holy fuck. Yeah, man. <clears throat> um, nothing big. My birthday's coming up. <gasps> How old are you turning? It. 28. That's right. And we started the channel when I was... 21. Yeah. Hey, 21. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, we've wow. been doing this for a bit. Holy shit, man. I'm sure... I mean, it's coming up. I'm. It, we're going to have been doing Super Mega for a decade, which is ridiculous to think about. Yeah, we're at our our next milestone seven years next April. Yep, fuck, dude. It, it honestly, it it only really started hitting me uh, how long we've been doing this, like within the last year. When I'm like six years, Ugh. fuck. It was when we hit the five year mark. I was like, damn. Because yeah. I remember you and I in the beginning, we always kind of talked like, however long this goes. I think you and I were a bit dismissive of the fact that it could go close to. Slash over a decade, but I'm pretty confident that that um that will remain correct, and at some point something will happen to to steer us off the road, don't, like a tragedy. Don't put or, that into the universe. I'm not putting it into the universe. Look, if I if I were to be spread across concrete by some jackass, you know, listening to Kid Rock or Riff Raff while blazing through a stoplight, that's that's not on me. I was following no. the rules of the road. No, absolutely. And it happens. Yeah, it happens. I'd be devastated. Would you want me to keep doing the podcast just by myself? How depressing would that be? Just continue. I just I continue the channel. There's fully like an by empty, myself. There, but the the chair stay, stays here in the wide. The shot wide continues. shot still sh shows, and it still randomly like cuts over to your <laughs> empty chair. Yeah. So uh, you know, just uh, doing the podcast. <sighs> What's been going on with you though? Um, Anything big? Anything bright and beautiful? Well, my you know my house has for the last uh, few weeks been turned. It's going to continue to be this way. We talked about it last episode. <sighs> yeah, where, where you are a, a a motel of sorts. I'm pretty much it's a I call it Matthew Watson's Heartbreak Hotel. It's where all the the newly single men are coming to stay with me. It's basically it's like it's like a it's like a halfway house for incels. But the Plex is turning into that as well. Yes, be, yeah. Don was staying in my studio. Jim was in my downstairs. And I, I just had to be real. I was like, Jim was in your downstairs. <laughs> Come on, yeah, man. You know, and he he keeps it clean. Yeah, yeah. Oh, him and I talk about how clean we keep it because him and I both do the same thing. Where uh, after we poop, or sometimes during to help the oh. poop out, we fill up our 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 rump with water and then shoot it out. Well, you we were just clean out our we douche out our uh, assholes or what's the chamber that you is? Are we just filling up like what I are can, we filling up? I can up? tell you. So basically. A uh, little bit of butthole anatomy. You've got the, you know, the sphincter. That's yes. like the, the, that's the muscle that contracts that keeps your asshole closed. Okay. There is like a, like a chamber. Okay, good. And then a second sphincter, and then all the shits up there. And when you're ready to shit, it comes to that one. So it's, so it's, it goes through a little chamber into the other. So okay. basically, I think you're just you're blasting, you're filling up that chamber, and then just blasting it out. <laughs> well, it feels wonderful. I and actually, for those who haven't tried it, they should do it. I've tried it, and it kind of just hurts for me. But you also got to remember my Ooh. surgical history and. Oh yeah, I was about to say. Oh yeah, you have such a tight asshole, Matt. Never been penetrated before. You <sighs> don't fucking. Yeah. So what? I remember in youth group there was this older counselor that made a comment about someone's like farts. He was just like, <laughs> was it a counselor? Or was it just an older kid? Like it was what it was like. The difference between a like a tight fart and then like a very flappy, just breathy <laughs> fart. He's like, if you have a flappy, breathy fart, it means your asshole's a little open. And I'm not going to judge you for that, but usually it means something. Some like church father figure. <laughs> like, hey, Ryan, <laughs> can we talk? You Let's... want you want a nice tight fart. That means that nothing's been up there. See, you, you, you go back and forth between the two and with with absolute ease. I have I have a. a I wouldn't say a talent because a talent feels like it's something 100% you, you, a talent. you can call on at any point. I I cannot do it at any time. I just let the farts happen. It's natural, a natural talent. You know, go back to the very first episode of this podcast. 
if 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 we if we teleported back to ourselves while recording it and like guys guess what six over six years later you're on episode 300 and you're like 10 minutes in and you're still talking about farts and shitting I, I ended the last podcast with a fart. I farted right into the mic, and we talked a little after that too. But I was like, "Nah, you just, you just cut it." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. I how? Oh my. Well, I I fully forgot about the era of the podcast where you didn't have like the outro music on your computer. So instead of just downloading it, you just put a fart sound for like, because you would edit the odd ones, and I would edit the even ones. Mm-hmm. So all the odd ones for a very long period of time, maybe like at like two fifty. <laughs> 260, 270, just... I could check. Every episode just ends with just... Was it the same sound every time? Uh, no, I... It was like this, uh, three hour... Not even three hours. It was a compilation of different fart noises, and I would just pull from them. Three um, hours? It wasn't three hours. That's why I, I went oh. back on that statement. I, you, I wasn't confident in that statement at all. There, there's that there one... three hour fart compilations on YouTube, though. There are. There's ten hour ones. Yes. Which I, I... I don't think it's much of a compilation. I think it's probably like 30 seconds that just loop for ten hours. You know, there can't be that many. It's like the same 30 seconds, as you said, to like a minute of the same farts, but just looped yeah, for I 10 hours. I don't understand uh, why certain sound effects uh, are so difficult to to find a good version of when it's like such a, con- like farts. Like if you try to find a fart sound effect, like on a, on a like we use a website called SoundSnap and we get a lot of sound effects from there and we have a membership and they have like tens of thousands of sound effects. But just like, it's like every fart sound just sounds f- awful it just sounds like goofy fake cartoon and not like real and it's like you i'm looking for something real i think it's because in a foley studio usually you have the tools there pro- to produce the sound on the spot but a fart one you need to eat the right things and have you know everyone's disposition to being able to create farts is different some people can do it on a whim some people need the right shit so that person would then require to get in that mood and also you can't you can kind of tell what type of fart it's going to be, but you can never really like hone in the exact sound you want. That's exactly true. It's it's all you never actually know. You can kind of like, you know, you kind of, you know, your brain, the human brain is is evolved to recognize patterns. We you need know? to set like a little room, like a dark room we can come in and all it is is pressing a button and the mic starts recording and like if one of us has a fart, we just go in there, press like hold down the button and then <laughs> the moment we click off of the button it stops. And, and it, it puts it into recording. like a like a vault. Yep, like it like an archive thing. Because we have some pretty good sounding toots. Yeah, well, well especially you. Like it, mine, mine aren't mine are nothing to write home about. But yours, yours have always just been from the beginning. Just uh, I said an out of body experience. You said, was it is it the Hennessy? No, it's more of it's more of like going back to what you said of like this is our this is a milestone. We're doing a live action podcast, and we have devolved straight into uh, minutes worth of conversation about farts. I'd say a good, maybe at least half of it so far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, like, if it's someone's first time watching the podcast, they're like, oh. Which it might be because they're going to start from, a lot of people might. Start on this episode. Yeah, the live action stuff. This might be y'all's first episode. And if, and if it, this is your first episode of the Super Mega Cast, welcome to the family. Yeah. Do you, do, is there something that's better when you watch, the, it's like, it's more physically stimulating when you can see people move and see their, and see their facial expressions? Does it take away the bite out of the comedy? Well, you know, they can still listen, listen to, to the audio yeah. and they don't have to see us. Because we still upload. It's still the exact same podcast, same microphone setup, same everything. You probably won't even realize there's cameras here right now. Yeah, I, well, this is the first time I've sat down to record a podcast since, when did we start doing the? What'd you say? It's been like 51 days since your, since your. Sciatic shit, but I think I was able to sit down. I, well, still on. nothing from the MRI? Uh, nope. I even called the ENT today and nothing. I'm, I'm going back in time to see because it's it hasn't. It's been like maybe like a, a little, a little over a month. Yeah, you've been having to lay down every time we record. I can't believe you're actually sitting right now. Big skulls and big mouth. Yeah. Does it hurt? Imaginary friends. Gleeking, I think, was the last one we uh, put out where the I wasn't fucked up, and that came out on 420, which 420 is the day. Oh wow! That it all went down. So ever since 420, you've just been. Honestly, just fucked. Yep. Hey, so have I. But you know, hey. different different reason. Exactly. Weed. Oh, some of the some of the stizzy. Yeah, some some of that uh that sticky icky, some of that chronic. Damn, hit that shit. Hit that. Smoke that shit. Smoke that chronic, boy. Oh God, it feels so good. Mm. Oh, let me get a hit of it too. Oh. 
I do want to get some water. And while I'm gone, um, oh. could you um, update the people on the court case between us and Kevin Federline? Yeah. I just think people want an update on that. Are we allowed to talk about that? I mean, our lawyer said we could. Oh, okay. Yeah, as a court case right now, it's it's me and Ryan being sued by a... Just looking at me through the door right now, but there's 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 this whole lawsuit right now with with, with Kevin Federlin, and it's just it's a mess, you know. Hey, did that's my coffee, Justin. Would you like it now, Justin? Making a make people. This is the first time you'll ever actually get to see Justin on the. Podcast. I know he's actually real. He's not just a fig. He's not a third voice. We do. Hi. Look at that one right there, Justin. Yeah. Hey, Justin, you want a hit of the stizzy? Yo, Justin, hit yo, smoke this chronic. Dude, dude, take a hit of the stizzy, bro. Yo, hit that chronic, Justin. You want to hit, hit that fucking chronic? You want to hit the stizzy? What's wrong with the stizzy? Fuck the stizzy. The stizzy life. Uh, I didn't choose the stizzy life. The stizzy, the stizzy life, life chose, chose me. me. Justin, if that if that fucks up the autofocus and the rest of the thing, my camera's blurry. Justin, if you when you go back into the recording, you're gonna see me. I was eyeing your your shorts because I was like, should I pants Justin? Damn it, dude. There's well, Justin, but but but, but you're not on camera. Well, it would just be for personal enjoyment. Not, I mean, what? Just the shorts, right? Or everything? Well, sometimes, and I, it I, all I, depends. I can't. I don't want to make a promise. I just, I've I made this mistake before, where I, I pants Ryan uh, in, in a public setting at the Grumps office. <laughs> yeah, at our place of work, and, and, my, uh, and my cock went. <laughs> <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> it was fucking like, but it was right in your face. Yeah, dude. no, like right, right. <laughs> <laughs> See, now people have to watch the podcast. <laughs> uh, we pants Justin. Justin, I think, are you going to be messing with this footage? Is that what's going on? We're handing it off? Mm -hmm. He's going to be fiddling around with it. Mm -hmm. uh, Justin, for a brief moment, like, if stay, just right there, doesn't he look like if someone did that face app thing where it's like the chiseled, like, chin and, like, the sparkly eyes? Yeah, it's the, it's the lighting. It shows off your facial structure very, very nicely. Like right You're glowing, there. Justin. Your skin's looking great, by the way, Justin. You're choosing one of the worst angles. He, Justin's choosing an angle where he's taking a picture of himself like this. Slightly below. <laughs> Which is always a bad angle. That's what every, like, 40-year-old, uh, like, conservative white dude on Twitter, their profile picture is them in their, in their truck. Or just any Uber Eats driver. Yeah, honestly, dude, Uber Eats drive. What I, what I like about Uber Eats and Postmates is you can actually, you, Justin. uh... Bye, Justin. Have a Thanks good, for the uh... Coffee. uh you can yeah. actually view the full resolution of the driver's image on uh, Postmates and Uber and Uber. You showed me that, and ever since, and ever I just since, love yeah. fucking saving them whenever they're goofy. They're great, dude, because like you click it, and it just you can click it, and it shows you the full image, and you can just save the image. And I'm like, this is awesome. And I have a whole collection on my phone of some of the best ones. Is there something where we have to like cover up brands or something? <laughs> eh, yeah, I don't think I so. I feel like it. <sighs> Uh, and speaking of brands, uh, how about we cut to some some ad reads? Some ad reads? I, I know that people have been waiting. Okay, let's go to those ad reads. Those big wireless providers forget that families come in all shapes and sizes. That's why Mint Mobile decided to shake up the wireless industry with their brand new modern family plan. Each line starts at 15 bucks a month and you only need two lines to get started. No matter how big or small your family is, you deserve to save on your wireless service. That's exactly a... Uh, what Matt and I decided to do, uh, you know, we did, we weren't big enough to really constitute as a family for other wireless providers, but him and I, we can be seen as a, a small little couple of two, and it, it works perfectly. We get unlimited talk and text, high speed, and the 5G network's great. Uh, yeah, we, we, we love using love our it. couple's plan. I love it. For anyone who hates their phone bill, Mint Mobile offers wireless for just 15 bucks a month. Mint Mobile gives you the best rate whether you're buying for one or for a family. And at Mint, families start at two lines, like I said earlier. Twice, by the way. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month. And to get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, including the modern family plan, go to mintmobile.com slash supermega. That's mintmobile.com slash supermega. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at where, Matt? Mintmobile.com slash supermega. <laughs> Bomba's mission is simple. Make the most comfortable clothes ever and match every item sold with an equal item donated. So when you buy Bomba's, you're also giving to someone who's in need. 
Bombas designed their socks, shirts, and underwear to be the clothes you can't wait to put on every day. Right when you wake up, you're gonna say, dang it, I can't wait to put on these dang Bomba clothes. Everything they make is soft, seamless, tagless, and has a cozy feel. There's a pair of Bombas socks for everything you do. They come in tons of options, like comfy performance styles made with sweat-wicking yarns, which means your feet stay cool while the rest of you works up a sweat. That's pretty nice, that's what I like about them, because when I go to the gym and I'm getting swole, I have my Bombas socks on, and my feet don't get all, get all hot and sweaty and stuff. They feel nice and cool. I love them so much. Bombas no-show socks are designed for comfort while being specifically engineered to never fall down. So, let your ankles be free to soak up that sunlight. Bombas t-shirts made with thoughtful design features, like invisible seams, soft fabrics, and the perfect weight so they hang just right. Bombas underwear is also so breathable and fits so well, it feels like you're wearing nothing at all in the best way possible. And did you know that socks, underwear, and t-shirts are the three most requested clothing items in homeless shelters? That's why Bombas donates one for every item you buy. So far, Bombas customers like you have helped donate over 50 million items of essential clothing. Go to bombas.com slash super and get 20% off your first purchase. That's B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash super for 20% off. Bombas.com slash super. Yay! And <laughs> we're back from the ad reads. That's right. We are right back. Right back. Do you with, guys enjoy with, it? With some more funny content and some more stizzies. Yo, a little bit of chronic never hurt a man, you know? Dude, how, how are you? You want some stizzy? No, dude, I took... Bro, you don't want any more stizzy? After two hits, I was absolutely stizzied out. I am stizzied out of my mind right now. <laughs> I love how the first podcast back, it looks like we're like... <laughs> <laughs> We're shilling for Monster and Hennessy and and then there's like weed vape. La <laughs> La Colum Columbus or sorry, Col La Col Col Columbe coffee. It's Colum a Columbe. There's no thing over the Oh, Columbe? Colum? La Colombe. Because well if it's Spanish, it's Colombe. True. Isn't that where that thing happened? Huh? Never mind. Um yeah, but I had a great dream. Uh I had a wonderful dream last night about uh I, actually it's because yesterday we were in the other room and you're like look at this and you show me a video of like these two little gibbons walking yeah. gibbon monkeys with their tails up <laughs> i i had a dream and this is the first time i've ever had a dream like this but we got a i i got a monkey and i brought it to the super megaplex and it was one of those little gibbons with like the they walk with their hands out like this and like Woo. and i had them and i was carrying them around the office and all of you guys were like whoa you brought your monk oh yeah there he is <laughs> dude the way they fucking walk is that a gibbon? Maybe not. I don't, I don't know, know what that is. I don't know what kind of monkey this. I don't even know if this can be seen well. On Probably the not. I well, I'm wearing polarized sunglasses, so I can't even see your phone screen. It's like a bunch of rainbow. Wait, t take them off real quick. You gotta see this shit. Ex try to explain this one. Uh, <laughs> it's just a little. Will you send that to me? <laughs> yeah. Do you yeah. It's like a little Pomeranian puppy, and a guy just blows it a little bit with a leaf blower, and it just kind of like moves a foot, like whoop. And, but he doesn't even notice. <laughs> you like it when I send you... You want me to start sending you some animal videos? I love animal videos, dude. I've gotten back on the TikTok recently and... Damn, all right, Kesha. Stop. Get, Come get, on. Remember that song? TikTok, make um, it um, rock. DJ gonna Tom, blow the speakers up. up tonight. I'ma fight till we see the sunlight. TikTok on the clock. Gonna party don't, don't stop. No, no, uh, no. Uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, oh. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Um, yeah, Super but it, mega clip. Uh, Matt Matt Ryan sing Kesha. They have to leave this part in. Ten hour version. And also this part too at the end. And now the clip's done. Nope. Now it's done. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever clips that, I just write <laughs> in it right there. Now it's done. Uh, yeah, but um, yeah, I had a monkey and I was like, I was carrying around the office. And uh, I, I would just let him run free, and he would just go, like, running room to room. And uh, I remember we had him in the living room, and we and, uh, you had a pack of, like, fruit Mentos. And we were like, dude, let's give him some Mentos. And uh, we gave him, like, a strawberry Mentos, and he chewed on it. And he was just, like, like his eyes rolled back in his head, and he was having— We were like, oh, he likes it, dude. <laughs> he likes the Mentos. And then he did pee like, on the counter. Like, give it a cat catnip. He's just like— Yeah, he, like, he was like, mmm. And I was like, yeah, fuck yeah. And then he did pee on the counter, uh— at one part of the dream, and it got on wasn't me a piece of paper that was on the counter, and uh, I didn't want you guys. Uh, yes, <laughs> Shaggy, I didn't want uh, you guys to see that he had done that because I thought that you guys would be mad, like you can't bring the monkey to the office anymore. So I was trying to clean it up, but like when I would clean it, it would like respawn like next to it. So that was my dream. I had about a monkey, and it, honestly, I uh, there was one part where I'm carrying around the office and he's hugging me, and it actually felt like really good in the dream. 
<laughs> well, like every now and then, like I'll be going through TikTok and there will be an account where it looks like just like some fucking high schooler and there's just a monkey in like a high schooler's room and it's just like, what? And, she, and they're just like playing around like how it's did, a how pet. How do people get these things? I don't know. I know, but like, I know the illegal monkey trade is pretty, pretty popular, but their dad's like an accountant for like the cartel. Dude, I you want this monkey? I love like when cartel dudes have like lions and like Tigers. cheetahs. Well, dude, it's it's in bears. Oh my! But it's uh, it's <laughs> it, it's usually that's awesome. Like, man. Have you seen those videos of like those like like Saudi Arabian like knights? No, but <laughs> <laughs> these Saudi Arabian Saudi uh, Arabian knights. That was that was genius. Thanks, uh, this this like Saudi Arabian like oil mogul like sons. Where like their dad's like an oil mogul, or they inherited like billions, and it's just them in their like Dubai penthouse, and they just have like 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 a cheetah laying there with like a monkey running around. But isn't like the background to a lot of that is you can't really fucking domesticate a lot of these animals to the extent of like back then at least what they did. It's not like they bred them; they just no. like, took them from the wild. So like they take the cool pictures, but then they just like throw them in a room because they just be like. Fucking like, it's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's a leopard. It's gonna fucking that, that, kill me. That that was my impression of a tiger getting upset. And and, 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 if, and if it did that, I wouldn't want to. I'd lock it in a room too. I'm pretty sure like there's no way to legally obtain those animals really, unless you're uh, like sanctuary licenses. I'm guessing. The I promise these Saudi billion oil billionaires don't have sanctuary licenses. <laughs> It's the one I thought you just meant in general. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. Uh, talking I guess like zoos. Them. Like I get. Do you need like a license to buy exotic animals? I mean, you must. But like, how do you go about getting that? I bet you. I shit you not. Let's not even look it up on Google. You and I should watch. We bought a zoo and see if we can come back and answer that question. Okay. <laughs> Because, I mean, like, zoos have to get their animals from Are somewhere. Are we actually going to do that, or is that just going to be another thing that's like, eh? Uh, I guess we'll see in a future episode, <laughs> right? I, yeah. I guess all of you will. I'm not, I don't just don't want to commit to anything. Yeah. You know? Also, I've seen it, like, here and there, like. You've seen it? Once. Was it good? I didn't see it all the way through. Oh, by the way. <laughs> is that it? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, let's watch. Uh, I bought a zoo. We bought a zoo with Matt Damon. Wait, what about Zookeeper? That one might be a little I more. I saw insightful. that one in theaters with my dad. It's like someone, the- someone said this on the subreddit or some shit. When someone mentions a shitty like two thousands movie that came out, <laughs> and all of a sudden it's like, is it the guy like sweating? I, it's some fucking meme where essentially <laughs> the whole thing is like. I always say me. I saw that with my dad in the, in the theaters because <laughs> I did. I saw every fucking like yeah, shitty. Dude, I'm surprised movie. at how many of these like shitty comedy movies you've actually seen. Like, like I like I remember I brought up Wild Hogs once. Like I saw it in theaters. Little Man. You saw Little Man? In <laughs> <laughs> no, what was it called? It was Little Man. Was that the name of the movie? Yeah, when he plays with uh, Marlon. Yeah, Wins? Marlon Brando, and he <laughs> plays the uh, the Little Man. That one's great. <laughs> That's like that's like the same era like Irvana movie is like white chicks. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But uh, just even worse. Fuck white chicks though. Yeah, f- I'm kidding. I, I don't know, it creeped me out. Hey, fuck white women. They looked creepy to be in the makeup. Do you think it's a little insensitive? Huh? You think that's a little insensitive? Uh to, to me. Yeah, honestly, they were appropriating. That kind of was not cool. Yeah. You know? They never got in trouble for it. But I do it, and then all of a sudden, no, I, oh, everyone on the internet's mad at me for doing it. Well, people don't understand, like, it's like, you know, morals are, are supposed to be set in place. There's no, there's not supposed to be some double standard that you get by. So I feel like, and like, you know, I'm, uh, my, my people were disenfranchised. They still are. Yeah. You know, um, the Irish were slaves. Yeah. Did you know that? The Irish were slaves too, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and, honestly- I, and, and my family feels that to this day. In fact, they're the um, uh, because I bring it up at uh, at family gatherings. Really? Yeah. Well, I say, isn't this unfair? Well, I I honestly think that if they're allowed to do whiteface in that movie, that we should be allowed to do blackface on the podcast and get away with it. <laughs> I'm going on record and saying it. You are brave. I guess. Well, now you know. Now that it's a video podcast, I I it's like well, now clips will just be very easy just to clip. Just but before I, I before I can be like that, 
I, I want to state that that was clearly a joke. This is the first episode back, and it's just, like I'm looking at visually what people are looking at. <laughs> it's just like... Oh, yeah, we have, we have a monitor of it. <laughs> Fucking the Cookie Monster hat, dude. The, uh... Oh, shit, we've been recording for... There's a timer now. 33 minutes and 55 seconds. Oh, shit, seconds. dude. Except it's... We, like, it probably was recording, like, for a few minutes before we started. Fuck! What? Is this how you felt when your septum was all fucked up? Yeah. I could, like, like... I couldn't breathe out of one of my nostrils, pretty much. It was just... Well, my nose is actually stuffy right now. The I chronic didn't help the too ENT much. live on the podcast. Yeah, call the ENT, man. See what's going on. They didn't hang, uh, pick up when I called, like, three hours ago. Why would they? It's a doctor's office. <laughs> I'm so frustrated with everything going on, dude. Yeah, the Lord's throwing you through the ringer right now. This is gonna suck if it doesn't pick up, dude. You have reached the confidential voicemail for. Ah, <sighs> ooh, it's confidential. And bleep out the first name. Why'd you go to a doctor that that was his name? Um, I don't think anyone's. I don't. I. I don't think I've heard anyone use that term since like two thousand three. Oh, well, it's been a bit. I mean, 2006, six, six, sexteen. Hey, knock it, bro. 2016. That is oh. nice. We have a we have a timer now. How's your back? It's all right. Yeah. Oh yeah, you got what's that? An icy hot pack? Yeah. You gonna do with it? It's a lidocaine patch. What the fuck? Bro, I don't smoke nicotine. I smoke lidocaine. It's like menthol cigarettes, but better. What are you looking for? Ah, there they are. Oh, but it's a fucking pair of scissors deep in your chair? Yeah. The hell? Just in case I need a pair of scissors. Why do you have that, like, underneath you instead of, like, to the side? <laughs> like, on the table or just next to your chair? They're underneath you. Keep them warm? Are they warm? Yeah, they're really are warm. They? Have yeah. I kept them warm? Yeah, you have kept them warm. They're pretty warm. This is a, a live... Where, where, are you, where are you gonna put it? On your ass? Yeah, where the... Where the... Pain kind of nice, right now. nice. Yeah, yesterday you took. I, I walked into the kitchen as you were like had your pants down, putting one on your ass, and then later in the day you took you took same said uh, menthol ass patch and then tossed it on me right on my chest at the end of a Minecraft <laughs> let's play. <laughs> Which I, I'm excited for people to see that that big project. Yeah. The big, the Minecraft, the Minecraft Let's Play, showing off our server. Yeah, we have a, our Patreon server is pretty, pretty cool. Minecraft uh, <sighs> server on it now, and it's pretty epic. It's a lot of, a lot of fun people on building some really cool stuff. <laughs> Jake, oh, we're not supposed to bring up by name. Brian, Ryan, Macintosh, <sighs> Lewis. That was the monkey's name, by the way. It was Lewis in I, in the dream? In my dream, yeah. I remember it was Lewis. Oh, I think if I had a monkey, I'd name it Charles. That's a good ass monkey name. It fits those like those little Charles. Like, <laughs> Charlton. <laughs> this is my monkey, Charlton Heston. Dude, the fourth. I would like. Are, what are the ones that like? They have they walk with their hands out like Gibbons, this. right? Gibbons, I think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that love shit. How they fucking walk, dude. <laughs> That Charles is a great name for a monkey like that. I mean, a lot of monkeys also run like if if they're trying to make themselves look bigger, they throw their arms up. It's just funny. It's like Ooh, hoo, hoo. just tossing them up, having a good time. I I wish that they uh, were like native to California. Who, who, gibbons? Yeah. Parrots are. Rats are. Parrots aren't native. Are there parrots going around? Yeah, that, oh, they're not native, but like that's because they're uh, here now. Back in like the 1900s, yeah, someone's parrot started fucking, and now there's parakeets everywhere. On they're like the native east side. now. Oh uh, yeah. Well, I mean, because there are a bunch of parrots bred here. Now. Native is is a relative term, you know. It's like there's well, there was always something that was more native than that. We're you know? native. We're Native Americans. Yeah, we are. <laughs> God damn it. Uh coming out the gate strong. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh man. Yeah, but uh honestly like think about how different life would be if we if like just there there's a universe out there where in Los Angeles gibbons are running rampant. 
Like this place in the world from like traffic signs. Yeah, just covering up the lights like on purpose, <laughs> yeah. causing horrible car accidents. Like it's like they run out in front of you and you hit them like a deer, and that would be devastating. I think that that's monkey? more sad than hitting a deer because it, it's because it's bipedal. Sometimes not anymore. No. <laughs> yeah, but it, it would be very sad. I like watch watching the life leave a monkey's eyes would would be probably like one of the saddest things I can imagine. Honestly, like Coco the gorilla. Not a gorilla. I'm talking about monkeys. <laughs> Gorillas. You have you you have no you have no sympathy for a dying gorilla. No, they're scary as what hell. What about a dude? chimp? Chimps. That's kind of funny. An orangutan. Also funny, but monkeys just sad. orangutan or tan. I think it's orangutan. Okay, but why? Why as tang? a kid was it tang? Orangutans. I I swear that it like just changed one day. Like when we were like twelve. It was orangutan, and then all of a sudden, every, it's like, oh, it's orangutan. It's like, like, I remember it being orangutan. <laughs> orangutan. Maybe, wait, maybe, maybe orangutan is a type of orangutan? Is that, is that a, a thing? I orangutan love, wheels. Or the tang, the drink. Delicious drink. I, I, I need a little bit of tang in me right now. After smoking that chronic, a little bit of tang would really, uh, really help me out. My chest, my pectoral muscle has been twitching the whole podcast, and I don't know if anyone's noticed, but it looks like my heart's beating incredibly fast. It is tans. I don't know where tang came from. I think from. tan is like the family, right? Orangutan, and then maybe an orangutan refers to like a single... Or... Oh, okay, yeah, I, I found something. I don't know. I didn't find anything. It's a bullshit website. What's the difference? <sighs> Askthedifference.com. What is the difference? I hate going to a bullshit website. Just it's like it's like I want to see something. I click it. And I'm ah, it's bullshit. It's just it's a bunch of shit. It's not what I wanted to see. I'm not really getting any solid. I think I, it's orangutan. Yeah, orangutan. I think it's like a southern. Like it's an orangutan. It's a cool ass name. Orangutan. It's an orangutan. Yeah, orangutan. Is... Orangutan. I they're like I, some of my, one of my favorite monkeys. I love orangutans. They're kind of creepy to me. Why? They just seem like old like. Chill. They do seem like wise older monkeys. Yeah. Like they're like the elders. The elders or the wizards. Yeah. Well, what are the ones that have the f weird thing right here on their face? Isn't that an orangutan? Yeah, yeah. That that's what freaks me out. What is that? Their face? It's like it's like there's just some extra <laughs> face there that doesn't need to be there that's not on like any other primate. Well, gibbons have a little f extra uh, arm there, you know? Yeah. To the dude. benefit of a gibbon. I just like the the along the, the extra face is to the benefit of the orangutan. It wouldn't be an orangutan without that. That's true. That is absolutely true. Was, was that Don that just walked by? He walked by like a like a like a dead space monster. <laughs> I, I saw the chroma. I just like a <laughs> just like a like a like a shape shift. There should have been like a window. piano dun, dun, as he walked by. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, man, but. Should we have some more ad reads? Yeah, we probably should. And I can go walk around a little. I can go piss. I can walk a little bit. You know, I got a lot of piss my, in these in, in these my, balls to get leg. out. And yeah, put those Crocs on. See that? I see oh, it. Oh yeah, it's going to work, baby. Is it? I think so. It's like menthol cigarettes for your leg. Fucking cut to the ads. When you're running a small business, every second counts. You can't afford to waste a single moment. So why are you still taking time out of your day to go to the post office when you could be using Stamps.com instead? Stamps.com makes mailing and shipping quick, easy, and cost-effective. Stamps.com saves you time, money, and stress. For more than 20 years, Stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses. Stamps.com gives you access to all the post office and UPS shipping services you need right from your computer. And get discounts you can't find anywhere else, like up to 30% off USPS rates and 86% off UPS. All you need is your regular computer and printer. No special supplies or equipment. You're up and running in minutes, printing official postage for any letter, any package, anywhere you want to send. Isn't that awesome? Plus, Stamps.com seamlessly works with Shopify, Amazon, Etsy, eBay, and more. So whether you're an office sending invoices, an Etsy shop sending your products, or a warehouse shipping out orders, Stamps.com is your mailing and shipping solution. You know, us here at Super Mega, we're a small business, and, and, and we love saving money. And that's why we use Stamps.com. It's also fun to use. And, look, it makes things easier for small businesses, plus it makes probably things easier for the person running that small business, i.e. you listening... Take our word for it. It helps. Stop wasting time and start saving money when you use Stamps.com to mail and ship. 
Sign up with promo code SUPERMEGA for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code SUPERMEGA. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Something that Ryan and I have experienced many times over, and if you've watched the channel for a long time, you know exactly what we're talking about, burnout. We get burnout a lot. It happens to everyone that works on, you know, creative projects or just projects in general. You know, sometimes you feel motivated, sometimes you don't, and you can't help it. Sometimes you work too much, you don't take enough time for yourself. I'm sure you felt burnt out too. Life can be overwhelming, and many people are burnt out without even knowing it. Symptoms can include lack of motivation, irritability, fatigue, and more. We associate burnout with work, but that's not the only cause. Any of our roles in life can lead us to feel burnt out. BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you to prioritize yourself. Talking with someone can help you figure out what's causing stress in your life. Therapy is honestly like the most important thing I think I ever did for myself. Uh, when I'm experiencing burnout, I can talk to a therapist, and it's like an unbiased, you know, person that I can talk to my problems about that, you know, can, can give me objective advice and help me feel better about myself in general. And with BetterHelp, you're able to do that from the comfort of your own bedroom. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy. And you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Our listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash supermega. That's betterhelp.com slash supermega. Prioritize yourself. Prioritize your mental health. Go go get that better help. You know what I'm saying? Fresh from San Diego, California comes the only sunglasses brand I'm ever going to wear again. I'm talking about Blender's Eyewear, and you're going to be just as hooked when you see how awesome these shades are. I got a pair of Blender shades, and they're perfect to wear when I'm running on the beach, uh, flipping off all the dudes, and kissing at all the ladies. Chase Fisher started Blender's by selling his beachy shades out of a backpack while doubling as a surf instructor on Pacific Beach. His goal to create an adventurous mid-priced eyewear option with the same cool factor as other leading styles. Unlike expensive big brand shades that you've probably lost or smashed in the past, blenders are actually affordable, so you're not going to cry as much when the uh, <laughs> inevitable happens. Blender's team of in-house designers are constantly coming out with new styles from orange polarized wraparounds, tortoise shell frames with purple lenses, to classic gold arms on black lens. And it's not just sunglasses. Blenders has prescription glasses as well readers and blue lights, as well as a snow collection with goggles and accessories. Live life in forward motion with blenders today. I know Matt and I look epic in our blenders. Whenever we go out, we get compliments and they that's the thing about blenders. They look cool. They're that's probably right. the sickest looking sunglasses mm -hmm. I've ever worn. Episode 300 of the podcast, I'm wearing some. To score 15% off your blenders purchase, visit blenderseyewear.com and enter promo code SUPERVIP. That's BlendersEyewear.com code SUPERVIP for 15% off. Blenders, rocked with pride worldwide. <coughs> We're back. Welcome. The hell? Hey, yeah. Welcome uh, Welcome back from the uh, the ads. I know that's everyone's favorite part of the podcast. No, whenever they're, um, they're, whenever they're mentioned in, um, like, Reddit threads... It's always positive. People love them. <laughs> what people really like, too, is the episodes when uh, there's more ads because it means the episode's longer Yeah, by default. W which isn't happening now. Well, in the audio version, who knows Who knows where they put them? Yeah, you know, when it's on, like, Spotify and, uh, and Apple Podcasts and shit, it, uh, they, we don't put the ads in. They, we record no. them, send them, they put the ads in for us. So I don't know what order they go in or... or at what point they play? Well, they play when we say let's let's cut the ad breaks, I and mean, yeah. that's where it goes. But you know, other than that, I, just, I don't I don't really know, and I don't really give an f. Knock it, bro. You know, I, I don't really give an f because you know, if they don't like the ads, then they can uh, they can not listen, you know, or they can just go Patreon, five bucks a month, and you can get it ad free. This is Justin's kazoo. What the fuck, right? It it's it doesn't work. Oh yeah! Oh. I forgot. You don't just you have blow to into a kazoo. You have to hum. <laughs> let me let me let me try this sucker out. You got hum. Just hum. That's great. That sounds like one of the very first uh, Chris Chan videos.
Um, yeah. You got any plans this weekend? I'd like to go to Corn Man. Hey, I didn't I didn't get to go last time. We can so. do tonight. I would love to do tonight. Okay. I'd love to go to Corn Man tonight. Cause because Rav was thinking Rav? Well, I brought the idea up and he sounds it, it the White Macklemore? Yeah. He 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 seemed to like the idea we go to round one before Corn Man and then leave round one to go to Corn Man. Oh. And, I, and we could talk perfect. about our plans. I, I walk around most of the time. That's great. I was there like a week and a half ago. I had a blast. It's great. I went bowling. It's really Isn't fun. that the one in Burbank? Mm-hmm. Uh, aren't there uh, uh It's not as good as the... I was about to say they're kamikaze rooms. <laughs> <laughs> they're karaoke rooms. <laughs> I mean, I, I get anything. They're fucking whatever. They're like what kamikaze they? rooms. <laughs> anything be a kamikaze room if you make it. Are they like only two there at that location? Yes, and the wait for like, I, I last time I went, I went with some friends and I played pool and I I bowled and the wait for each one of them was like an hour each just to like get a pool table and then to bowl. So we like left and we walked to uh, this is really good burger place that's like a walking distance. Five guys? No, it's a. Uh, Wendy's. Oh wow! Yeah. But they just opened this like Smash Burger place right next to Round One in Burbank. It's fucking delicious. It's really really good. You'd like okay. it. They were like, you gotta try this place, man. And I was like, okay. And I tried it, man, and it was pretty good. See, a boy, a boy lo- loves his apple pan. But, yeah, of course he does. But a Smash Burger, like a like a real like a real greasy type of <sighs> good ass, like like with the grease like crisps the mm. the edges. The oh, yeah. best. I love a good smash burger. Although I've been to the Apple Pan and been disappointed sometimes. And I love a little burger after a smash. You know? People are going to have to now st- have to do a fist bump counter <laughs> from this point on. Because now they're going to be able to see it. They're going to be like, All right, Or well. Justin. I'm kidding. <laughs> Justin. You don't, you know, Justin, that, you don't do that with the podcast. That was like when we edited from Markiplier. And Markiplier would uh, be like, Towards the end of the video, like, oh, Matt, by the way, uh, put a counter in how many times I've sworn. And I'm like, <laughs> You're like okay, oh, when I have no. to go rewatch the video, and if I got it off by one, which I did on multiple occasions, because honestly, dude, like, swear words are just so normal to me. You know, I just, I use those little suckers so much. I don't even notice it. Sometimes I don't notice it. Yeah. When I'm talking to like my parents. With my mom, I don't care as much. With my dad, I, I'll i catch myself. I'm like, I just don't know what the fuck. Uh, I'm sorry. Same. My mom, I can, I, I mean, I say, whatever I want to my mom and she just has to deal with it. My dad on the other hand though, I feel a little <laughs> bit I, I, I feel a little bit uh I feel I feel more morally judged if okay. I say fucking in front of my dad or if I am fucking in front of my dad. Oh, your dad's a pussy. Yes, and basically uh I feel like I could beat your dad in a fight. I think so too. Honestly, dude. Maybe not 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 when uh he could no, he's he's always been like a weak man, weak minded too. Definitely weak minded, and and honestly, uh, just weak in in all aspects. Your dad Health. is the perfect example of if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Yep. Yeah, exactly. That's a, that's a good way to describe Dale. And honestly, uh, mostly because he can't stand anymore. Well, it, I I was about to say I think I could take him in a fight. And that's, I mean, it kind of feels like cheating, but I don't know. I'll just kick the stool out from under him. You know? Well, when he's not in his wheelchair. Yes. Yeah. Because he, he likes that stool. He has that stool that he painted. <laughs> it's got the like the little like seashells he painted on it. Yeah. It's nice. Does he still paint? Yeah, he does. I mean, that's his like profession. He still paints. Could I commission him to paint something? Yes, you probably could. With a fake could. name? Damn it. I sh- oh, my God, dude. I've been racking my brain what to get you for your birthday. I should get a, a, an original piece by Dale Watson. <laughs> of just the Confederate flag. You saluting the God damn it! Stop. Who 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 is this? It's, it's a Discord message, and my phone's unlocked for some reason. Uh, it, it'll be you. It, no, it'll be uh, you saluting the Confederate flag. Okay. With tears running down your face because of how beautiful it is to you. It stands for uh, freedom. You know what? The, <laughs> you know what the funny thing about that is? It stands for literally the opposite, the opposite of freedom. Of freedom. It stands for... It's, like it's for freedom. It's like it's literally well, that's so why you could have slaves. That's why they go to heritage. Yeah, because they're like, well, the freedom one's kind of a easily... Their freedom to own slaves. That's the real freedom. <laughs> what have we become as a nation, Ryan? <laughs> Bunch of pussies. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, 
Joe wow. Biden's in L.A. today. Really? Yeah. He's he, Joe Biden's probably only a matter of miles from us recording this right now. The the leader of the free world. You heard about that like fake bomb threat or not bomb threat, shooting, like shooting threat. threat? Yeah, I saw that. Someone texted that to me. They were like someone that worked for like the suicide Prevention hotline. Line. Yeah, I mean it turned out to be a a fake, a hoax. That's a good prank, dude. No substance. Yeah, um, it's like the people who call in bomb threats to school. Did you ever call in a bomb threat to school? Yeah. Did you? Did you? Once, yeah. Did you? I really didn't want to take a test. Did it I, I didn't did expect it, them to did shut it the work? school down all did day. Did it work? No, I, I, I didn't fucking call a bomb threat into school, Ryan. I don't know. I'm just asking. You could get away with it. You were a kid. What are they going to do? Arrest you? They're going to, the yes. FBI is going to come in and arrest yes, you dude. as an adult? They take that stuff very seriously. <laughs> like, if there's, if there's one thing they take seriously about kids. Statute it's... of limitations. Well they, well, they can't arrest me for it now. No, they can't. But back so then. Have you ever called in a bomb threat? Not to not to a school or not to my <laughs> not to my school at least. Um, no, I've I've called them in many places, just not not ever to school. I was too nervous I'd get detention for that one. That's that's like did no, you pull a fire alarm. But that's the thing is, do they act like uh, I, don't, I don't think they actually take it that seriously, which is what's what's what sucks. Like, well, they they'll, like the they'll, they'll they'll take it seriously. To catch like the kid if you if it's like a prank, but when there's like actual like shit online that they like want to shoot up the school, like they don't really seem to take it that seriously. Yeah, well, I'm guessing because they see so many people act this way. Yeah, it's really if you arrested everyone who acted sus. Ugh. Yeah, it might uh, might have to call an emergency meeting for that one. There might not be any more traffic in L.A. Is all I'm saying. You know what, dude? Honestly, super mega fans be wilding. <laughs> they do. And y'all have been supporting us for 300 podcast episodes. How many How many of you goobers have listened from the day we released the first episode of the podcast? Like, we dropped it and you're like, ooh, a new podcast. And you listen to it and now you're still listening or watching now. That, that, that's, that's, that's tier one. Now, who's in, now say, I'm tier one, baby. And now tier two are people who have listened to every single episode. I have met people. You uh, can say I'm a, I'm a tier two mother effer. So you got your two phrases that you can say. And then tier three, Matt, what's tier three? Someone who just started recently, like within the past this year, who started, who discovered us this year? Maybe, maybe tier three is someone that has been listening for over f four years. Okay, over but four years. They've, they've been listening since at least we recorded it at the Grumps office. Okay. And they found us through Game Grumps. And then tier four are people that are just now finding it through Creator Clash or something. Yeah, and y'all just go tier three and tier four. You don't have a funny little phrase to say. No. I mean, it's nothing to really be proud of. Tier four is what again? Like, like twenty twenty two fans, like people okay. that found out yeah, yeah, about yeah. us through a actually through Creator Clash or the Brendan three, Fraser lawsuit. Tier three doesn't get a special phrase; they just go tier three, no exclamation point, and then tier four. I feel like should just uh, tier four. Uh, my name Jeff, or uh, they they love Sumaga so much that they're crying tears for tier four. Oh, true. See what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. How would they represent that? In the um, take a picture of themselves crying? No, they can't post pictures into the comment section. Do you think? No, they're never gonna do that on YouTube. That might, you know. I don't know. I honestly, can see I it. can see them making it more like Twitter. Honestly, they, they have stories. They have like a feed. I mean, they've always had like an updating, an, an, a feed that you could update, but in, it's set up to be more like a Twitter feed. Yes. Yeah. Well, I wonder if, like, they're ever going to let you, because Reddit just randomly was like, oh, you can put pictures in the comments now. And I was like, what? What the F? So I wonder if YouTube will ever do that. And if they did, we predicted the future. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we've done that a lot. We, I predicted the Switch. You did predict the Switch. There's a clip of it online. And uh, we actually predicted a lot of shit on the podcast that just ended up coming true. But I think it might be an example of confirmation bias uh, to get scientific here, because... Uh, are we really predicting things or are we just talking so much that we're bound to say some things that are going to come true? That. Yeah. But I get, well, it's I, more, it's more, it's more goofy and fun if we say we predicted this. What stuff. was the one? There, there was one though that like we talked about someone and they like died that That's day. happened multiple times. What, do you, do, do you think at all, do you have any even, not, not even a, like a solid belief, but maybe like a bit of skepticism that like maybe there is like a sixth sense that we don't understand yet that like transcends like physical bounds mm. and we're not able to scientifically understand it or prove it. I don't know. It's because I don't know. I haven't researched like that type of shit. So I wouldn't know. And so I just kind of 
throw it up into a big bubble of stuff I don't know. Because then if I did research it and I still had questions, then I would feel like I'd be able to be like, hmm. I have these, uh, maybe like once every three months, I'll have a day <sighs> where you have to, you have to shit. Mm -hmm. I'll wrap it up in a second. Do you need me to help wipe this time? Uh, no, I think I got it. You didn't get it all last time. If you could, if you could just run the bidet. Okay. So I can just put all of my focus into okay. pushing. Uh, but yeah, I, I have these days where I'll have a million coincidences in one day, and then like I won't have any more. But it's all always in one day. Like yesterday, for example, I was driving back from the gym to the Super Megaplex after you know working on my muscles. And Wait, show those babies real quick. Oh, oh shit! Now flex that cock. <laughs> Woo! That is good and veiny. Yeah, very veiny, throbbing, uh, pulsating. But basically, uh. I had my Spotify playlist on shuffle, mm -hmm. and a, a Smashing Pumpkins song starts not even like half a second after I look up and see a Smashing Pumpkins billboard on shuffle, just dun, 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 and I was like, whoa, the um, fuck? And then, and then another, and then I was over here, and then Rav said, let's get it to me as I was typing, let's get it to somebody via text. Shit like that's like interesting because there is no way to place it, but I feel like most coincidence now that I find comes to me having a conversation about something and seeing it like on TikTok or on Instagram, but in the place of an ad because our phones still listen to yes. us. That's a, that's, I think that's like a very like, yes, this happened. We just accepted that. Yeah. Isn't We're, that kind of creepy? It went from, can you, do you, look at this, I said this and then, and then, and then it showed do, me do an you ad. they're listening and it's like, oh, well, they're listening. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're, they're listening. You know, there's probably some, uh, some FBI agent right now laughing his ass off listening to this podcast. There's got to be one person that works for the FBI that's a fan of the super mega cast that listens Right? One I'm sure there's employee. at least one person that works for the FBI. They probably aren't allowed to go in the comments and say, oh, I work for the FBI. Maybe you are. I don't know. FBI megaheads, reveal yourself. Just say you work for the FBI in Minecraft. Okay, yeah. Because then, I mean, well, they also don't need to state Federal Bureau of Investigation. Yeah. They, could, they could be female body inspector. This could be a really good poop. Okay. Well, we started strong. Let's end it strong, Ryan. No, I'm not, I don't have to end it now. I'm just, I can feel it. Oh, well. It's like one of those you can feel in your lower back first. Yeah, honestly, uh, as a surprise for the final, for the ending of episode 300, um, we're going to get a GoPro POV inside the toilet of Ryan taking a shit. And that's <laughs> the kind of stuff that you do. <laughs> could you imagine if we actually, how could you imagine it, if we actually, you know. How long would that stay up before it gets just taken down? Like, someone would have to at least just, like, listen to the whole thing and, like, or watch it and be like, wait, no way. Wait, they're that, not going to. And then they'd be one of the first people to see it and they'd be like, would that make it through the review process? Yeah, I think so. Hey, dude, if, if, it's, if it's, like, an hour-long video and it's two, two dudes talking, I don't think anyone's going to manually watch it. And I don't know if the computers would even pick up. They, I don't even know if they'd be able to tell what they're looking at. I mean, it took a bit for Logan Paul's video of a suicide victim hanging from a tree to get taken off of YouTube. And I don't even know if YouTube took it down or if he privated it first. I forget what the story was. All I know is I remember it being up for a bit because I saw it when I was at home and I was pissed and I was driving uh, downtown Columbia to go see some friends because I was visiting home at the time. And I was like, oh, we're going to all fucking like rant about this. Uh, and I got to his place and I tried to show it to him. And I showed it to him. Then we tried to watch it again and it was taken down. So fuck, man. Well, at least uh, he'll be president in like a decade, and Jake Paul will be Secretary of Defense. Jake Paul is a, a hero. Oh, shit. Well, uh, speaking of oh shit, should we get that GoPro uh, fired up and charged? Yeah, and yeah. I'll just, I'm getting into the GoPro app right now. Oh, yeah, it's all set up. So, Sick. Uh, well, like, we ate, sorry, it's been set up for all the guests. Oh, really? Oh, I, I've left it running, yeah. Okay. We set up for that one prank that one time on, on Rav, but then I left it going. Have uh, some babes coming over later to the office. Oh, shit. Uh-huh. Knock it. Hey. Poop or fart? Don't. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Really that All right, I'll wrap it up then. Go go, go do your okay. thing. and um. Thank, thank you for watching episode 300 of the Woo! podcast. That's right, baby. 300. Can you believe that? Uh, Can my, you? This yeah, is actually miserable sitting here after you did that over here. This camera can't see me anymore. You sure? I think I can see part of you. Check real quick.
See, Matt's going to check the camera. What does it see? It, I see like uh, two thirds of you. I okay. Don't see your face though. <laughs> Not, but, uh, not, not even when I lean in like this? Well, probably, yeah. They, I'm not, I don't want to get back up, though. Okay. But, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Go check out our Patreon. Uh, you get these episodes without the ads. And now you can get the video version on Patreon uh, without the ads. <coughs> not just the audio. So, uh, guys, thanks. And uh, we'll see you next time. And um, anything, to, anything to say, Ryan? Uh, bye. Man, it's always a slam dunk when I see Ryan and Matt. Love you guys.